I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to look at swelled or bloomed reverbs using the multi-tap or mega-tap delay. To begin, I've got an old Fender Stratocaster plugged straight into the Axe FX3, and I've bought up factory preset number 350 called Plexverb 8x2. This is actually one preset that I put together. I'll let you hear it, and then we'll break down what's happening with these blocks on screen. Let's check it out. <laughs> signal chain is pretty straightforward here. It is simply the JFET compressor into the Brit JM45 and this factory 4x12 Recto IR. There is a dry chain running to output one and then there is this rather interesting looking parallel chain over here where a multi-tap delay is feeding not one but two plex delay blocks set to the occult verb one and occult verb two factory blocks. You can see what I've done here is I've selected the input select to be right and then left over here on these two blocks. There's then a volume and pan block just to bring the overall level down. But what's interesting about this multi-tap delay is it's using a few shortish delays in here just to kind of change up the front end characteristics of these plex delays, which are really acting as reverb. So if I turn the multi-tap delay off and then bring it on, you'll hear a change in the character of the decay from these two plex blocks. <laughs> on there that with the multi-tap delay engaged there is this swelling or kind of blooming effect right at the start of the reverb before the smooth decay at the end. So I like to think of these shortish delays as like a little ambient cluster that you can apply to the front of a reverb style effect. If we move over to scene two here though there is a, another technique for swelling or blooming this reverb. It's using the mega tap delay block. So you can see I've got the mix at 100% here and I've just selected the stock reverb pre-swell type in the mega tap delay block. Let's have a listen to it off and then on. <laughs> Megatap delay provides this much slower build up and a longer envelope into those lush reverb decays, whereas a multi tap delay kind of gives you this extra energy up front. They are kind of contrasting approaches there to changing up the character of, again, something that sounds like a reverb. But I'm not using a reverb here, I'm using Plex delay blocks. So it would be interesting to apply this to a standard reverb. So what I'm gonna do here is with this multi-tap delay block, I'm gonna save it to my library. Let's just call it verb, uh, we'll call it pre-delay on there. Uh, pre-delay is probably not the best term for this because the pre-delay and a reverb is a slightly different thing, but I'll go with it because I know it's in the multi-tap delay. So we'll save that to our blocks library. I'm gonna move over to a different preset and then apply this trick, actually both tricks, to a standard reverb block. I've moved over to my clean Gift of Tone preset. I'll link my Gift of Tone presets in the video description. This one in this particular scene is using the Band Commander model with an EV IR that I made. And I've got the lovely sounding Rich Hall reverb here at the end. Let's just hear it at stock settings. Mm -hmm. 
let's try those two techniques for swelling this particular reverb. First thing, I'm going to move this reverb to its own parallel chain up here. I'm going to reconnect some of the blocks, but I want to place my swelling or blooming blocks in front of the reverb. So I'm going to create a parallel chain over here. Don't worry too much about these effects down here. I'm not going to use them for now. And let's start off with the second trick that we tried, which was just the mega tap delay. So we'll come down to the mega tap delay over here. It defaults to the reverb pre-swell type over here. I'm going to turn the mix up to 100%. I'm going to leave the bypass mode as through. On my reverb, I'm going to turn the mix up to 100%. I'll set the bypass mode to mute in, and I'll just bring the overall level down a little bit. Let's go minus three. So the reverb on its own is going to be a little bit more pronounced than we heard before. Let's just hear the reverb on its own, still the rich hall type. Then I will bring in this reverb pre-swell in the mega tap delay. So we've gone from a pretty sweet sounding medium length reverb to a beautiful glossy ambient reverb in there. I find this technique works really, really well with the longer cloud type reverbs in here. Let's go with Stratocumulus, have a listen to the same thing where we have just the reverb on its own. You can see this one, 20 seconds of reverb time. I'm actually gonna set the level to zero. So it's gonna be a pretty massive reverb and then we will bloom it with the reverb pre-swell. That's absolutely stunning. I love that combination of the Megatap reverb pre-swell and the Stratocumulus reverb. Beautiful stuff. Let's try the multi-tap delay trick from the previous preset. Remember, I saved it to my blocks library. Now I've got a lot of things in my blocks library here, but I'm going to use this verb pre-delay. That's what we ended up calling it. And again, I'll let you hear just the Stratocumulus reverb on its own, and then we will swell it with the multi-tap delay. This trick is also pretty fun with shorter reverbs as well. So I'll change the reverb over to the London plate and I'll let you hear the difference between just the reverb and then kicking in this multi-delay kind of pre-swell. Listening to that, it's almost like a very, very subtle spring, like you can kind of add a spring character to any reverb you like in there. I'm just thinking out loud there, that's what it reminds me of. So there are two distinct tricks to change the character of your favorite reverb or reverb style effect using the mega tap delay reverb pre-swell. That one is too easy, you just load the block connect it in parallel with your reverb and you're good to go. And then we've got this 
multi-tap delay, if you've got the factory presets installed, you can simply borrow this block from that particular preset number 350 that we looked at, save it to your blocks library, and then add it anywhere you like. I would love to hear from all of you if you try these tips and tricks out. What particular combination do you like? The mega tap, the multi-tap delay, and what reverb or plex style effect do you like combining it with? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you have suggestions for future Tuesday Tone Tips, let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time. I'll play you out with some of this uh, kind of lovely mega tap delay into, uh, let's choose, say, one of the pitched reverbs. We'll go with Ursa Major over here and have a listen to what that sounds like. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.